Here's some uh, notable additions for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Again, they're an exciting young team. Martin Perez uh, just signed up reportedly to a one-year $8 million deal. He's only uh, one year removed from an excellent season with the Texas Rangers. And you see the rest all the way to the left. That's brand spanking new. Rowdy Telez signing up, former Milwaukee Brewer, signing a one-year deal, $3.2 million. Rowdy Telez, age 29 season, as we say in the business, and he joins us right now on MLB Tonight. Rowdy, it's Brian Kenny here at MLB Tonight. Congratulations and thanks for joining us. Well, thank you guys for having me. Uh, how does it feel to be a pirate? What are your thoughts? I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm really am. And, you know, it's going to be a good team. It's a good organization. You know, want to bring back the winning tradition. But, uh, you know, I think we're making some great moves to, to make a push. Um, you know, I think the Central is a division that's kind of up for grabs. So I think it'll be a, a fun time. Right, yeah, I know. A good time to be there. Yeah, right. I just want to jump in. You, you, you've had some. You had 35 homers two years ago. I know you were a little injured last year. Tell us about replicating your high-end performance because at your best, you're slugging with real power. How do you become a consistent, excellent power hitter? Um, just playing day in and day out. You know, I dealt with a little bit of an injury last year, so um, I think that kind of hindered some of it. But uh, you know, just being able to play day in and day out, be the same guy every day, so. I think, uh, you know, get a full slate of at-bats, and uh, I think we should be able to replicate it pretty easily. Hey, Rowdy, it's uh, Dan O'Dowd. Following up on BK's question, it seemed like you've always been a patient hitter, but it seemed like the first three months of the season last year you became almost a little bit um, more patient. You think that led – because then you started swinging aggressively in first counts and your numbers went up a lot. Is that something you learned from last year as to try to attack a little bit earlier in the strike – in your strike counts? Um, no, I mean, I think you just, you're hunting your pitch. Sometimes, uh, you know, they flip over the oh, breaking ball and you just let it go. You know, I think there's certain things you look for, but I think for me, it's just being able to trust myself and, and be okay with hitting in situations that, um, you know, whether it's 0-2, 1-2, 2-0, um, I think sometimes I do get a little passive, but I don't think it, it hurts me in that sense. Hey, Rowdy, it's Dan. You saw that market explode for Otani seven years or 70, 700 million for 10 years. Did you enter in these contracts at all? Last year, scoreless inning, you pitched a one, two, three, nine with a strikeout. Did this help you in your negotiations being a two way threat? Um, no, I should have, though, but I did. I am the only position player to ever close a uh, playoff clinching game, Dan. And that was with Milwaukee, and I think you were there for those years, some of them. I know. was. Just letting you know. Okay, let, let me <laughs> ask you this. What? No, every position player eventually wants to get out there and see what it's like to pitch. Were you nervous when the inning started when you're about to throw your first pitch? Dude, I'm going to give you the full backstory. Counts came up to me in like the sixth or seventh, and he looked at me and he was like, hey, you ready? And I was like, I thought I was going to go for Santana. I was like, yeah, of course. And he goes, uh, you ever pitch? And I was like, Oh, Craig, I got it. <laughs> so I ran up. We're, we're in, we're in uh, Marlins Park, so I ran up all the way up the stairs. I was looking through everybody's locker, and I was like, Wade, Wade's got a glove. I grabbed Wade's glove. I stretched. I did arm care. I threw in the cage. I, like, got on the mound in the cage, threw, came down, ran back up, did it again, and I was like, all right. And Counts goes, don't throw hard, please. And I was like, why? I can air it out. Like, I, I can throw like, I used to pitch in high school. And he was like, no, absolutely not. And then I went up to Vic, who was catching, and he was like, hey, don't do anything stupid. I said, all right, I'm just going to throw all cutters to righties and all sinkers to lefties. Just that's all I'm going to do. And he was like, all right. So anytime a righty came in, I just grabbed, like, a little cutter grip and just let the, you know, gravity cutter, let it go. But, man, I was so happy. We were winning, and I did the little celebration after the strikeout, and I felt kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> One last question. Do, do you have the ball from the strikeout? Oh, my God, it's on my mantle over there. All oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Front and center. Yeah. That's good. Oh, we got it. Here it oh, is. Here right it here. is. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> I love your whole approach. By the way, Rowdy, you're kind of scientific about what works as a pitcher. You've given this a lot of thought, it seems. Oh, there it is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unexpected. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I just – I was just going to get up there and sling it. I really wanted to throw one. I wanted to rear back for one and see, like, what I could get. And then I was like, you know what? There's no need. Don't do it. Don't do something stupid. Hey, you know what? Next year, uh, Rowdy, I th you, you, you know, you, you talk to them with the Pirates now. You've earned the right. You can say it. You've earned the right. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. the best CRA in the history of the game.
<laughs> and then if I do it again, if I come back with another shutout inning, we're definitely pushing on Tawny territory. <laughs> Thank you. Rowdy Telez now with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Rowdy, hey, congratulations. That's great stuff. And uh, best of luck with Thank Pittsburgh. You. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys.